Hey guys, LK back at you here today. I've got another unboxing video for you. This is a very special couple of packages I've been absolutely jazzed to get my hands on. Inside these packages is a full Jason Voorhees wardrobe from Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, courtesy of my good buddy Josh Ludman. A lot of you know him as Crazy Dog 500 around the internet world. And uh, speaking of which, he actually has a new website out there that you should definitely hit up if you're looking to get some work done. It's BeyondDisgustingStudios.com. Uh, Josh, I've uh, known him for a couple of years. I've used him before in the past. Hell of a guy to work with. Top-notch communication and quality work. Um, you guys have actually seen some of this stuff on display in uh, videos of mine in the past, as well as tons of photos and, and all that good stuff. So. Uh, also, a special shout out goes to my good buddy Steve Bellamy over at TheDevilsLatex.com. He's the guy who made the hood that you're getting ready to see. Uh, more on that in a moment. Josh did some work with that as well. And uh, I'm just, I'm psyched to pull this bad boy out and take a look at it. So, we are going to rip this monster open right now. And it is always like Christmas time whenever I get to open the finished product of a new costume. So. Always excited to take a look at this stuff. Those of you in the cosplay world, you know, this is some of the stuff we live for. Hmm, a couple of gloves here. Not sure how well you can see it, but they've been weathered up some. <coughs> you can tell Jason has uh, definitely gotten his hands dirty with these. Got a couple of skin pieces here that will cover my forearms. And I believe these are temporary pieces until Josh is actually able to construct some uh, silicone sleeves. Definitely looking forward to that, but for right now, this should fulfill my needs just fine. If you take a look at the, uh, the sculpt here and uh, the flesh tones, and just uh, very, very nice work. My other stuff. Check out the clothes. <laughs> Kick ass. Hope you can get a nice wide shot of that there. And this is the uh, work shirt that he wears with uh, some of the skin pieces that are visible through the damage on the shirt and they have been fitted in expertly by Mr. Ludman. Awesome work as usual. And he even applied the, uh, I'm assuming he used some type of silicone base. I'm really not sure, I didn't ask him, um, but I'm sure he'd be happy to confirm it for you if you are curious. But this gives the clothes the kind of slimy, shiny look that Jason has throughout most of the film, um, where he basically came up out of the lake after being down there for who knows how long. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of slime and, and uh, sewage residue on him, and he's done a really good job in emulating that. So, hell of a job on the shirt. I'm gonna set that aside for right now. And let's get a look at the pants here. Hopefully they're not too small for my big thick ass. <laughs> but these are uh, weathered up much the same way. Kinda got that, uh, that shiny slime look. And the right knee is also cut open where the flesh is exposed in the movie as well. And that is also well done. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside. And funny tidbit about this box here. I've actually had this in my possession for a couple of weeks now and I uh, promised myself that I wouldn't open it because uh, I wanted the full effect. I didn't wanna take this stuff out and, and start playing with it before the actual uh, rest of the costume came so it hasn't been easy I basically had to put this in a closet and just kind of forget about it so I'm really hyped to check out the hawk and the hood here Josh sent me pictures of them and uh, they are studio quality I mean very cool stuff can't wait to show them to you can't wait to see them myself in person
<laughs> I don't think you're ever gonna find anything this badass at Walmart. But for right now, we'll pretend. Ooh. Holy shit. Damn, look at that. You picking this up all right? Mm -hmm. Damn, that is badass. He totally nailed it. I mean, the weathering, the, uh, the color tones here, the chevrons, everything's perfectly placed. The ax mark is, uh, I mean, pretty damn screen accurate from what I can tell. Just an all around badass job. And he's even got the eyes fitted with the dark mesh that uh, hides the eyes of the wearer. That was done in the uh, film as well. I think that was one of the only times that Jason wore a hockey mask in the movie where it was really hard to see his eyes any part of the time. But uh, Josh's insignia. And that is just badass. Had to take a second look at that. <clears throat> Expertly done. Outstanding. And let's take a look at the last piece. <laughs> no Jason wardrobe is complete without a really nasty hood to wear underneath that hock. As I mentioned to you earlier, this hood originally came from Steve Bellamy, the Devil's Latex. Um, the guy does great work as always. I actually forwarded this hood off to Josh so that he could repaint it, give it a little bit of finishing here so it will uh, uh, better match some of these skin inserts that he did with the flesh sculptures that he created. So first look, everything looks to be blended in extremely well. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, sometime a while back on uh, Instagram and Twitter, I posted a picture where I talked about the uh, getting the first piece of a new project that I was working on. This is what I was talking about. I mean, the detail on this hood just simply cannot be overlooked. Take a look at the intricate detail here. Outstanding. It's this kind of work that leaves people such as myself who uh, do not possess this kind of expertise in all. Um, us nutballs on the independent market, bloodthirsty fans, we're lucky to have you guys out here to do business with. So uh, guys like Steve Bellamy, uh, Crash Cunningham, and Josh Ludman, you guys do outstanding work, and uh, we definitely thank you for your service. And there's only one thing left to do, and we're gonna do that right now. like this. We live in claustrophobia, a land of steel and concrete, trapped by dark waters. There is no escape, nor do we want it. We've come to thrive on it, and each other. You can't get the adrenaline pumping without the terror, good people. I love this town. Turn that off. Relax, Jimbo. You're gonna love this. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>